Thanks, Mitch. Rain is settling in across Melbourne this evening. Cloud and wind stopped the frost this morning and lit up the sky. Red sky in morning, sailors and shepherds take warning. But it was too early. The proper wet weather didn't arrive until this evening. The cloud had a big effect on temperature, 12 and a half in the city. The rain looks impressive on the radar, but in reality, it takes a while to get going. Northerly winds made the air dry, so the rain evaporates before reaching the ground. That is changing this evening as the rain turns heavier. Skies were clear overnight in eastern Victoria. Another frosty night there, minus three in Taralgon. In the west, it didn't drop below eight in Oyen, thanks to the cloud. And Horsham peaked at only 9.9, .9, stalled just eight. A bitterly cold day there, thanks to a big area of rain slowly crossing the northwest. That spread to the southwest and central north later this afternoon as storms popped up in the far west. Nil has had 16 millimetres and about to see a lot more. Horsham 15. We have two cold fronts crossing Victoria today and tomorrow. In behind these, it'll be the first time in more than a month that we've had air coming up from Antarctica. See the trailing high? It is well back west of Perth, letting a surge of cold air and wind come right up to us. This will be the first proper cold outbreak we've felt in a while. Showers tending to rain, wintry hail, lots of alpine snow. A cold, wet and windy Friday, particularly in the east. Now, we need it up in the Alps. There's been lots of snow making, keeping the runs fresh. But the natural snow is looking forward to a top up. That is what is on the forecast with snow tonight, all through tomorrow and on Saturday morning. I'm expecting 10 to 30 centimetres, so the weekend is looking good. Around the nation, tomorrow in Brisbane, mostly dry, just the slight risk of a shower. Sydney, morning showers, then sunshine, lots of showers in Adelaide, wintry hail. It is dry in Perth. To Victoria, this is where it's up to by the morning. Wet tomorrow in the south and east, turning dry in the northwest. Cold enough for wintry hail while it falls as snow above a thousand metres. Closer in, it is a woolly one tomorrow. Lots of showers passing through, cold and gusty winds, and it is chilly enough for wintry hail. Up to 15 millimetres in southeastern suburbs, a few in the west. Mount Dandenong, a top of just six. The city only 12, but the wind should make it feel like about five degrees. Frequent showers, gusty winds, and cold enough for wintry hail. To the eight-day outlook, the weekend is cloudy. The city, north and west, do look dry for much of the time, but showers continue to push across the southeast Saturday into Sunday morning there. Temperatures do rise, though, 16, then 17. On Monday, top of 18, showers developing. They'll gradually ease on Tuesday, 17. Then as we go through the later part of the week, a slight blip on Wednesday, 16, then 18, then potentially 20 degrees next, next Friday is what we're looking at that one. It's 12 tomorrow, feeling more like 5. A freezing Friday, frequent showers, gusty winds, even some wintry hail, Mitch. 12 to 20, that's... Uh, yeah, big change. <laughs> yeah, thank you.